From the Chibuku deposit, Zimbabwe, uh, Shangon quartz, predominantly clear in this case. Touches of amethyst, touches of smoky, smoky causing little patterning, and then the amethyst giving slight shades of purple in between. Uh, very, very interesting crystal formation again. I mean, these, the, the, the formation, and of course, full of fire. There you can see shots of amethyst, shots of smoky. I'm going to move it around so we get a better indication of the actual crystal form. These can be quite confusing. We can actually spend hours looking at them. And when you're looking at the still pictures, you just need to find a perspective. So what I always find with quartz is you look at the typical top termination. You look at that. And then uh, working back from that, you can try to figure out the rest, especially with these. These are quite confusing, uh, the, the forms of these crystals. This is not a floater. It does have a bit of a stem on it, though. So imagine it, it must probably was the head of a scepter. So you had the stem sticking out and you had this guy on top. And that's all from the, uh, the Shibuku deposit, Zimbabwe, the Shangan quartz. I want to give it, let's just give it another little spin here to give it, look at that, look at that. Elestial, yes, was a scepter. I wouldn't say it's a scepter any longer. Um, and that's all from Zimbabwe. Uh, Zambezi Valley in Zimbabwe. Look at that uh, amazing celestial formation, or, or even Lemurian writings, uh, abstract Lemurian writings, modern Lemurians. Um, let's give it one more shot there.